Hey, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, welcome. Bringing a reading to you uh, today happens to be October 21st, 2019. Messages coming in for today and tomorrow, but it doesn't have to be tied to today and tomorrow. It's just that that's when I'm going to post it. And that's how you can find things on the channel. But the readings really go by the title and go by your gut. You can even check the playlists to sort of scroll through and look at titles that may be more resonant with you at this time since we're all on our own timelines. And things that may be happening for you right now are things I may have read about six months ago or come back six months from now and look at this reading again. <laughs> you get it. Anyway, uh, they are the readings are for the collective, for in their general. Um, I do focus mostly on soulmate, twin flame, relationship, love energies. So my readings aren't always about business or career, but whatever comes up, comes up. If that comes up in a reading, I address it. So if you wanna see more business or career, um, put, please post in the comments and I can direct specific readings just for that and, and title the, um, title it accordingly and create a thumbnail that would speak to that. But in general, if I don't hear from you that you want that, I don't address it unless it comes up in the reading itself. I do have links below for any extended videos. If this goes on to uh, second half, there will be a link for that. Links to um, my decks are also below. There are affiliate links, though, as you know, I'm sure you're aware of that. And some books that I find pretty fascinating. And um, I created another little video to help you find your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign in the event you don't know how and it walks you step by step it's short it's like seven minutes but it, it walks you step by step through how to find your own plant personal planets again um this is for fire signs Aries, leo sagittarius sun moon rising and venus if the message is not here for you that you were looking for check the uh, videos for your uh, specifically your rising sign but also moon and venus moon is emotion venus is love but your rising sign is the face you show to the world and sometimes in interpersonal relationships uh, that's where the sticking point is where we come up upon um uh blocks to connections so check that out what i'm going to do is pull some oracle cards this is the goddess power oracle by colette baron reed i really like it and i'm going to read for you the energy the goddesses that are coming forward for you today fire sign okay so let's go i'll take one from the top wisdom in reverse this is metis look at the beauty of that card now it's in reverse, which is a, um, an alignment message. So I will read that for you and I'll pull one from the bottom. Ooh, okay. And this is also in reverse. This is Isis, rebirth, card 24. Whoops. Okay, so let me go ahead. They're both alignment me messages, which is good. So you're going to get a little hint here as to what you need to focus on or what may be coming up in this reading. So... Alignment, the goddess Metis, look at that card, wow. Metis learned a painful lesson long ago and does not want you to go through the same experience. How kind. She chose to make herself small. You see where we're going here, fire sign? To dim her life force and her inner light and reduce her power to keep love. I just got a chill. Who or what in your life is causing you to do the same? Do you dim yourself out of fear of reprisal or because you have a sense that you are unworthy and unlovable or perhaps too much or too smart? That sounds very Leo, Aries, Sagittarius to me. The goddess Metis offers an important alignment task. You must face this fear, this anxiety, and say a resounding no, even in the face of the greater story of cultural conditioning, be brave and courageous and ask how you can be part of the solution. Playing small is an excuse to not be accountable for your personal power and to not be effective in the world. You have an abundance of life force energy in you 
Gosh, is that not true? So come out of the shadows and let yourself shine. Take the risk and bring your wisdom to the world. We need you. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. I'm putting it up right here just so you can continue to look at the energies. Um, yeah, there. And now I'll flip to, and that's card number 35. Three and five is eight. That's a pretty good spiritual number there for um, sort of putting your head down and getting the work done. I think of when I think of eight, I think of the eight of pentacles in tarot. Um, okay, we're going on now to Isis. She's about balance, right? Rebirth, alignment message. The goddess Isis with her powers of reincarnation has a message for you. You are not broken. You are not wounded beyond healing and opportunities are not necessarily lost forever. Your insistence on defining yourself by your losses and wound stories are not serving you now. Your alignment task is to fully accept things as they are Choose to find a way to put the pieces back together. Let die what doesn't serve you and focus on what works. There is so much goodness to come from the situation, even if in this moment you feel trapped. The goddess Isis wants only the best for you as your fierce ally. She will challenge you when you go off track. So pick up the pieces, tell a new story and find home again. You will be amazed at how beautifully things come together when you reject the trap created by the stories you tell yourself. You have the key, use it. Wow. That feeling trapped, um, the, the, um, the first thought I had was Eight of Swords, right? Where in the tarot, she's this woman is blindfolded and bound and there's swords all around her. She, had, she has the power to walk one foot in front of the other and yet she, she just feels too trapped, too stuck, too blocked. And the message here that you're getting this between wisdom and rebirth, the, that that's where your alignment is, is to not play small and to not feel stuck in whatever societal conditioning may, may be present in your sphere right now in your life. Pretty powerful. All right, so let's do a reading for you, fire sign. Kind of a rainy day here, so I've got the floodlights on. <laughs> so you can see me and see the cards, and hopefully it will all not look like I'm under a spotlight. All right, let's see what we've got going here. Underneath, Eight of Pentacles. What did I just say? Putting your head down, doing the work. Now we have this top row is going to be mostly representative of the other person if there is one in your life or on your path. And then the second row is you, your energy is coming through. And the third row is the connection. Let me pull this down a little bit. Third row is the connection. And then the extended always looks at advice that's coming through for you, strengths or challenges of the connection, possible outcome or messages from your other person. Oh, wow, okay. Here we go, fire sign. Okay, so we know the underlying energy here is sort of putting your head down, doing the work. Um, the Eight of Pentacles, it, it's, it's like being the, being the always being the student and never really the master. So there's some aspect here behind the scenes that might be going on for you with regard to this connection where, where you always, where you feel like there's constant lessons and no real payoff. We'll just leave that there, put a pin in that. Um, and what we have here is, we've got a page of cups. So this, you know, pages are messengers and this is a message of love. This is in the energy of the person. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. We also have the Knight of Wands, which is your energy, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that's now building, you know, stepping up in vibration from the page to the night and going from, you know, their heart and like dropping it into the physical, pretty much. The Knight of Wands though, now we have to keep in mind can be in and out, in and out. 
This can be somebody who comes in fast and, um, and then turns around and flames out and leaves just as quickly. Some, not always, but since this is in this lineup, that may ring a bell for you. That may be something to be mindful of. And here, speaking of mindful, is this Four of Swords. So whoever this person is, has a message of love, wants to come toward you with passion, you know, like to claim you almost. And yet they're, they're in, um, they're laying low. They're a little in their head. This is the Four of Swords is often a card of healing. There's, you know, the, the soldier comes in, the knight, as it was, what as it were, comes in from battle and, and needs to sort of, I always say the phrase that comes to my mind is sort of going to ground, like just hunkering down, healing, uh, re, you know, reevaluating. Because it's swords, it's air energy, it's mental energy, reevaluating, uh, strategizing your next steps but doing it in a solitary way. So whoever this person is may very well <clears throat> be sort of laying low right now and trying to trying to move from messenger to uh, this action of passion. And here you are, we've got you coming in here now, fire sign, more as the king of swords. More as the king of swords. And that's interesting coming off the four of swords. It's almost like you're supporting this person energetically. You're like, it's okay. We got this. We got, you're fine. I've got it under control. And every king has the, their own element. This is, this is sword. So it's air. It's um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But they also have an ex, every king has an extra added flavor of air. So this is double air. This is like somebody who's really clear, crystal clear. So your energy in this setting, fire sign, is coming through with clarity in your power, um, su a supportive. Uh, and it's interesting because I see the symbol of the sun. I don't know if you can see that right on the back of this king's throne. So that's your fire energy coming in here, fire sign. Um, making an appearance. There's a couple suns. Beautiful. And we've got that Saturn energy in the planet right back here uh, to support that that's, that's what you're bringing forward right now is power and structure. Um, okay, we also have Knight of Cups. So now Page of Cups to Knight of Cups. This person has a message of love. You're moving in for it. That's what you want is you want to take action from your heart. You're clear. You're super crystal clear on what you want. And yet there's some conflict. Five of Wands. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. There's a struggle here somewhere in uh, maybe because this person is in this Four of Swords energy and therefore isn't yet confident enough. To, to come in with and, and claim this connection. There's some frustration on your part. This is a conflict. Just, it's certainly a distraction from what you know is your path. In the connection, we have King of Pentacles and then we have two major arcana, so we'll go through that. King of Pentacles, now we have two kings in here. And it almost feels like we start off with this underlying energy of always being the student and putting your head down and doing the work and burning the midnight oil to try to figure something out and gain some sense of mastery. And then we have the master, the King of Pentacles. So the connection is... is Giving off, I mean, this could be an earth sign that you're dealing with here, fire sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And if you are, then you don't have to worry about this. You don't have to worry about them not coming toward you. They're just being very methodical about it. They are a, this person, if this is representative of the person you're dealing with, whether they're an earth sign or not, they're channeling stability. They're channeling security. They are just in a position right now where they're either healing from something that's gone on in their recent past, you know, maybe a karmic situation is occurring for them and they're healing from it, 
or they're planning their next steps very much in their head, very, very want to be very sure before they race in. So I like this card here in the connection, and it follows, it, it's right before the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is about commitment. So you are dealing in this connection with some real serious grounded energy here. Um, the uh, Hierophant is Taurus. That's more Earth energy. So you could be dealing with directly with a Taurus. But what I'm picking up here is there's something very stable and grounded here. Um, there's structure in place. It feels conventional. It feels... Um, the Hierophant can also be seeking wise counsel. So here you have that energy of, yeah, we're in high vibration. We're, we're dealing with reality here. And now let's seek the wisdom of this connection. And that can be an outside source or within yourselves. And followed by this, this tower moment, something, something unstable is being wiped away. And I feel almost like it's coming from this page of cups. There's like, a, possibly, correction, we're wiping away the conflict. There is a conflict here. So let's look at that. Tower is Aries. So it could be you are showing up here, fire sign as wanting to wipe out when you think of the tower some people think oh my life's gonna fall apart no not necessarily sometimes what's weak in a connection is what's being wiped away and it's being replaced by structure and stability so it could be that the structure and the stability of this person you're dealing with fire sign is matching the energy of your desire to wipe out what isn't secure for yourself that's my story i'm sticking to it okay but let's look at the conflict i want to see what's going on with this conflict yeah that's the wheel of fortune destiny's at work here there's something not something stuck not moving nine of cups there's a little emotional complaint i mean the nine of cups is happiness but it's almost emotional complacency it's like yeah I'm good with how things are. I don't need things to change. This is all coming up here for you, Fire Sign. It almost feels like, and, and, and the Wheel of Fortune um, is Sagittarian energy and tends to expand whatever cards it's next to. So it almost feels like it's expanding on the conflict and it's expanding the complacency of one or both parties involved. So you want to move away from this stuckness and you know it needs to be wiped out. It feels almost like it's out of your hands though. Tell me more about this tower. What do we got going on with the tower? Show me more about the tower. Yeah. One more. Okay, High Priestess comes out. We've got the Tower and we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands to me always looks like, when I first see it, it looks like 11-11. Twin Flame Soulmate Energy. It also, also happens to be a marriage card. And coming out here on the Tower, I feel like you want to wipe away this, this conflict, right? You're trying to wipe away the conflict and complacency and replace it with that twin flame with a dynamic that has staying power right no in and out and so you're frustrated a bit by that seven of swords you feel like yeah something isn't measuring up i don't think i have all the information swords air information but it can be lying cheating sneaking stealing but i feel like it's just withholding you don't have you don't know everything that's involved and then i say that and what comes out next high priestess yeah you do know <laughs> the high priestess sees right that's the name of the channel the high priestess sees what can't be seen here's what can't be heard she knows she said she's a direct channel to the infinite wisdom of the universe and um 
in a way it's like you know even though something's something feels to you like it's going on behind your back and you're not quite sure you have all the information on top of that is yeah you do you know what's going on so it's more about being honest with yourself um with regard to you know what what you might suspect this is also suspicion what you might suspect is going on is probably going on the priestess tells you that let's take a look here at this four of swords i want to kind of get a feel for that four of swords healing from something okay king of cups Three of Pentacles, working together to get into, to regain the power of, you know, to be able to come from strength. So now we have the Page of Cups. We have the Knight of Cup, Knight of Wands. Okay. Moving back to King of Cups. Do you see that energy? Page, Knight, King. So there's growth here for this person, but they're doing it on their own time and it's like me plus you equals this third entity. This is an evolution. This is an evolution process for this person. They're growing into what you're already ready, seemingly ready for now. Fire sign, please, you know the rules. If you're saying, no, that's me, and this is the other person, perfect, flip it. Don't. Don't hesitate to move the players around because I'm speaking to the collective here and I'm not going to have, I'm not going to get it perfect for everyone. We got the King of Swords here and I was pulling it out for this Eight of Pentacles and now we have the King of Swords twice. So it almost feels like now I'm getting the answer. If you're coming in or the other person, but I'm just going to say it's you and you just know everything is going to be the opposite if you feel you're the one up here. This person's in this King of Swords. They have super clear clarity on how they want this to move forward. It's not moving forward right now the way they want because there's some emotional complacency on the part of the other person and unwillingness to move forward. And here we have in the underlying energy that Eight of Pentacles, always the student, never the master. And your card comes out on top of it again there, fire sign. I know swords are air, but you're channeling. You're channeling that energy of king of swords knower upon knower of all things the strategist of the army right all right and i'm going to wrap it up here let's just take a look at when might this what's this knight of wands up, up to up here yeah this person oh <laughs> You got to feel bad. If this is you, I feel really bad. But if it's the other person, they are losing sleep. They, there might be some mental instability here is all I'm saying. Like they're really struggling. They're struggling. And this is not easy. They are putting, they are put, a lot of thought is going into this. They're trying to heal from something, something that might be messing with their mind. And so while they want to come forward here, they're really hung up. So what you're perceiving as this emotional complacence fire sign may be that they're really struggling, that this is, this is something deeper that, see, now we come back to it, Seven of Swords. Put your thinking cap on. There's something going on and you probably know it and didn't and aren't really allowing it to root into your consciousness, but High Priestess, you know. You know like you know. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go on. Um, next is going to be your advice of how to deal with all this. Then there will be strengths or challenges to this connection, something that um, is, a, is either working for you or against you, depending on the card that comes out. Outcome, and if the outcome isn't clear, it may just be a message from this other person to you, fire sign. If you want to follow me, the link to the extended is below in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next reading. Take care. Bye.